Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to be exploring the product tabs manager module from Sparks. And Sparks can be installed on any WordPress theme, but for this demonstration, we are going to use Neve and I'll leave a link to Sparks in the description. So we are going to begin from the WordPress dashboard. Let's hover over settings on the left hand side, then click Sparks. So on this dashboard, we just want to activate the product tabs manager. Now, if we hover over WooCommerce on the left, we won't be able to see product tabs as yet. We'll need to refresh the page first, and now it should be in the menu. So let's go ahead and click on it. So on this page, we can see our three default global tabs, and we are going to be adding our own. So let's go ahead and click on the add new button at the top. And now we need to add a title. So let's call this something like printer cartridge type. Okay, now we can move to the right hand side to choose the categories for which we want to display this tab. We can either search for a category or we can select from the ones being displayed at the bottom. So let's choose books and magazines and maybe we can choose calendars and stickers. Okay, now we can go ahead and add a description for the block. So I'll just paste in some text that I already copied. And of course, this description can be styled if you need to. You can change the color or typography. But once you're done, you can go ahead and click on the publish button twice. Okay, now if we go back and refresh the page, let's click on refresh. So now we can see our new global tab and this tab will only show up for these categories. We can also see their visibility status here. And if you need to sort your product tabs, click on this link and then you'll be able to reorder your tabs by clicking and dragging. So you can move them to your desired positions. So if you ever need to hide a tab, all you would need to do is go to the visibility column and click on the eye icon next to the tab that you want to hide. So let's visit our store. I'll open it in a new tab and I'll scroll down to click on calendar. Now, if we take a look at the tabs, we'll see that we only have two, including our custom tab. Now, if we go back to our settings and turn the description tab back on, if we reload this calendar page, we should be able to see our description tab again. So now I'll show you how to add a custom tab to a specific product. Let's first click on products on the left, then all products. So from here, you can choose the product that you want to add the custom tabs to. We can use book printing. So now we are on the product settings page and let's click product tabs. And now we just want to check the box next to override default tab layout. So once you have done this, you'll be able to click and drag to rearrange tabs. You can also click on the remove button to delete a tab. Now, if you want to add a custom tab, simply click on the add button. And from there, you can click on the tab. And now you can add a tab title. So let's call this one printer type. And I'll paste the same description that I had before in this field. And of course, you can go ahead and format or edit your text according to your needs. So for my example, I'll just shorten this text a bit. And now I can go ahead and click on update. So now we can view our product. Okay, now let's scroll down. So here we have our custom tab. Also, remember that this is different from a global tab as it only applies to this product. All right, so now we are just gonna quickly cover the process of replacing default tabs. So if we come here and access this drop down menu, we'll see a number of different tab names which include our default tabs. So let's see what happens when we try to add another default tab. So let's try to add another description tab. If we select description and click on add, we'll see that nothing happens. However, if we go ahead and remove description first, we should now be able to add a description tab. So basically what this means is that default tab options from this menu can only be used to replace default tabs. All right, so now you know how to use the product tabs manager module from Sparks. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one.